guys welcome back to my channel i really fast wanted to pop in before this little reading vlog because i filmed this on my iphone it was at the end of september right after it was released and i've just kept the footage i never ended up finishing the vlog i thought i would still upload it just as like a little bonus vlog so i'll go ahead and let it play and talk to you guys later um but yeah here is me reading barbarian mine i'm per I'm pretty sure I could be completely wrong in the title, but I'm pretty sure that's the one. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. I want to start this video off by saying, obviously this is filmed on my phone. I just got home. If you can't tell, I am in my humble abode and I came home to this. So basically I have vlogged myself reading this. I vlogged myself. I have vlogged myself reading this series for the first three books, so obviously I have to film myself reading the fourth book. And the thing is, is I want to read this like literally right now. So I'm going to be filming this on my phone, so I apologize for the quality, but we have to do it. It's going to be spoiler, non-spoiler. We're going to hop into this because I'm going to my friend Feline's house tomorrow, and she needs this book to read, so we're going to try to finish it snoring so sorry if you hear him i forgot to like tell you guys kind of like what this book is about so this is the fourth book so obviously i'm not going to try to spoil it but this is the fourth woman she was actually mentioned in the last book as like her point of view was given which is uncommon like that typically doesn't happen that's typically not something that happened at least in the two first books like we didn't get a point of view from a different character besides the two main and so she was mentioned and then she was she kind of disappeared from the novel like we didn't see her for the rest of the novel so this is where it's picking up her story from like the previous couple's um book so i'm just gonna read the back of it um yeah okay so it says, the fourth novel in the Ice Planet Barbarian series. Lo receives the shock of her life when she wakes up to see Rook, don't know how to pronounce it, sorry, a stranger who has clearly been on his own for most of his life. But she, but she soon learns that there is much more to the gruff savage than meets the eye. The Ice Planet has given me a new lease on life, so I'm thrilled to be here. Sure, there are no cheeseburgers, but I'm healthy and ready to be a productive member of the small tribe. Well, I didn't anticipate that there'd be a savage stranger waiting nearby watching me. And when he takes me captive, the unthinkable happens. I resonate to him. Resonance means mating and children, but I don't know if that, if this guy's ever been around anyone before. Rook is entirely wild. He's completely uncivilized, can't speak more than a few words, and doesn't know what clothes are. A human, a human woman, is mystifying to him. He's truly a barbarian in all ways, and like Tarzan in the stories, he's kidnapped me and claimed me for his own. Being with him means I'm going to have to teach him how to speak, how to kiss, and how to be human, or even alien. It should be terrifying. It should be a terrifying prospect. So why is it that I crave his touch and hunger for more? So that's where we're at. I actually just read the first chapter. We're getting into the story. It's picking up where one of, or like some parts of the last novel happen. Um, so obviously like it's recommend that you read these in order, but okay. It's been a while since I've updated. So I thought I would talk about it. So I just got to part three for non-spoiler they obviously have met each other they are trying to communicate they have the miscommunication trope which i wasn't expecting again in the series just because some things happen in the first book where they could learn how to communicate together i think that's kind of fun i like the miscommunication um i kind of also like how he's kind of like a barbarian and i mean they're all barbarians but he's like actually like secluded barbarian guy and I think that's kind of fun. Um, but yeah, I am enjoying it. I am gonna go to the spoilers now. Guys, I'm sorry, we just reached part four and we have a one year, a one year time jump and I'm just shocked. Doing good. I feel like this isn't a spoiler since like we know they're gonna resonate. Obviously they have resonated and with resonance you get pregnancy. Ah! And basically Harlow is just having like a harder time her pregnancy i am about halfway through the book and it's getting good they went back to the tribe and she's just pregnant trying to figure things out but that's pretty base i'm gonna go to the spoiler section now popping in again to say here are all my spoilers spoiler yay i am already at part three they haven't had sex yet they are just getting to know each other 
sexually, just not like intercourse. Um, it's really good. I like it. Um, she is like showing him how to bathe and things. And they came across another hunter and he like freaked out because he thinks there's, he says they're bad. And I think that's what his father told him probably because they were like exiled or something like that. So wait, I just remembered something. Okay. The second book, the second guy, his family had been exiled and I think this is his brother. I think I just had that realization. Because Liz and I'm forgetting his name, like Rush, Rush Miko or something like that. They were both exiled and he was like, my father was exiled. So this is, this is his freaking brother. And that's why Har Harlow keeps on being like, he looks so ra Rahosh guys that's oh my gosh sorry that is just so shocking i looked at the glossary and just confirmed that so i like spoiled it for myself but oh my gosh <gasps> Okay, spoiler, we're at our time jump, like I said, in the non-spoiler section, and I'm just like, they had sex for the first time, it was a very detailed scene, he obviously didn't know what it was, she did, she, like, guided him, and now it's a year later, and so I'm shocked to read this, so, so they are at the original tribe, we get to see everybody all the other characters the only one we haven't seen really is like kira and yeah it's so sweet she's pregnant it's not going good which is bad but thankfully liz was like helping and we also got the confirmation that Rauch and um Rook? i don't know how to say their name sorry they are brothers and they have been like having some sort of relationship which is good and yeah that's kind of been it that's been the big updates her water just broke actually oh my gosh i just forgot that her water broke she's gonna be the first one to have a kid so this is the first book where we're seeing like a kid i'm assuming because there's still a good amount left so i'll update you guys later hey guys my last and final time popping in just want to say thank you guys so much for watching this vlog sorry i completely forgot to end it i just read the book straight through she had a healthy baby um it was cute whatever um rating it three stars. I rate all of these books three stars because they're not like great literature, but I love them for some reason. They're a guilty pleasure. But yeah, this was me reading the fourth installment of the Ice Planet Barbarian series. When the next book comes out, you know I'm going to be uploading a reading vlog. You can watch the previous three um, just in my reading vlog playlist. But yeah, that's going to be at the end of this video. Let me know if you guys have read this series. Um, very interested to know. But yeah, that'll be it. Bye.